Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Minimal Maxing. We're starting off today with about 69 quests done and about 1580 total. Our actual levels are slightly, slightly higher than this. I just didn't have a screenshot from the exact moment the episode ended. So here is a good snapshot of where we're at starting here and let's get into it. So another thing we're going to buy here is something that I forgot to get earlier, but with all the caches and running around we're going to be doing, it's really important to be able to get this. So I put the GE in offer at mid, let's wait to have it buy, uh, but we don't really need it for room crafting just yet. So we're starting the Shades of Morden quest, this is an annoying quest that I've been putting off. I was supposed to do it a long time ago. Hey, that quest wasn't that bad. Always go to World 88 for this one. Um, it was nice, the people were here, it was like three or four of us did it together. And it wasn't hard at all, I don't know why I put that off for so long. And that was a requirement for Curse of Arab. So now that our runecrafting room's bought, while we did that quest, we're gonna go over and do that skilling method. So now that we have a fat half filled uh, urn, we can set up our preset. Uh, we can save it like this, then go Q2, open the bank, reload. I'll take that 1600 a trip. The hardest part about this is overwriting my uh, internal clock because I've spent, or my muscle memory, because I've spent the past couple hundred hours of coming through the abyss, going towards the soul altar every single time. And now that I come, come through here, I need to go through my chaos altar. 43 room crafting. And about four more trips to go. Maybe three with the Aaron. Uh, until we can swap over to our nature room crafting. Forty-four room crafting. Ugh, I remember getting this as a kid. I was so excited. I had been like running to the old air altar when it used to be south of Valley. Oh, <laughs> that's a Muslim enemy for you. I actually went through the chaos rift that cost us like a hundred experience. 47 room crafting. There we are, level 70 agility. Wow. 42 to 79, or 42 to 70 off pure silver hawks. This is what I would call people who don't know how to cash. You got two people sitting at the edges instead of putting things into the middle, and there's two presses active. They're both going to crest at the exact same time and get in each other's way. They all suck, to be honest. And there we have it, 7600 experience, which got us to level 33. Ugh, 500 experience short. I thought that was it. One more trip. And this will be the last time we touch runecrafting for a long time. 50 is the highest quest requirement that we need on our quest pack uh, for the Devious Minds quest, which is the sequel to the What Lies Below quest that we already did. Uh, the reason why we're waiting is because we want to get 93 summoning which gives us an extra 20 essence per trip before we come back. Uh, additionally, it'd be nice to get some bonus experience up because this is the slowest skill up in there where my calculations have it at 45 hours. Meanwhile, there's some skills that are like five or six hours. So 45 is the slowest by about 20, 20 hours. So it's 
pretty slow. But we're going to move on to doing the Devious Mines quest. As you can see, we have all the levels we need for Devious Mines. There we have it, Devious Mines complete. We've got some experience, coming up to 52 fletching. There we have it, 51 Hunter, so we can do the quest now. Could have waited till tomorrow to not have to spend that, like, two minutes there, but as we were only 900 experience away, felt appropriate to we'll just get her done. 10,000 defense, 2,000 agility, 10,000 mining, 10,000 smithing, and 15,000 hunter. And we got 52 hunter and 71 defense. There we have it, another 100 point cash. Looks like we finished at the same time. Do, 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 and that gets us up to level 37 and 33,000 experience until our next stamp. Crack open this safe. Down, we're gonna go to Draenor now. We turn in our looting bag. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We got another 18,000. We hand in the painting and we got 148 silver points. And or we now have 145. So let's continue on our rotation. We need to get up to 500 to get a bigger bag, which will be really nice. There we're up to 66 thieving, which means we can loot the Varrock chest as well. I will say it's extremely convenient to have three saves right beside each other. And even with that like one minute detour, it's gonna be about seven and a half minutes we had here let's just say it's an even seven to do a full rotation we started at 491k and we're now at 540k um so that's pretty good that's like what 50k in seven minutes almost 500k per hour 67 thieving. There we have it. 69 thieving. We need to gain about. We need to basically do one more rotation and then we're done. We'll probably end just short of our goal for 500, but one more filled bag once we start. Looks like we might end up 1k short of our goal on this rotation. We got our 500 pilfer points. We are 3k short. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the medium bag right now from Dodgy Derek. So now it's a medium bag instead of a small. And we're just gonna go back to the Wizards Guild, and these two saves will get us below 21k. So there we are. We have our. Goal as we're under 21,000 to level 70 thieving, and we're done training thieving for a long time. So, we need to get a couple crimson germs. Um, and a good way to get them is water fiends, but to get in there, uh, we need to do the barbarian, uh, barbarian fire making. So now we can jump down to the Barbarian Cavern in the same way that we would have. And each Honey Badger pouch gives 140 experience. And we need, we need about 20 Crimson Charms here. So let's see how many Water Fiends it'll take us. And it's 84 shards each, so we need to about 1600. Buy a thousand. Oh, 
I'm an idiot. Made the ultimate uh, brainlet move where I forgot I had to go up to 41 and was just getting the experience for 40. So you have to go up to 41, which will take about another 25 Crimson Charms. There we have it. 41 summoning. So the next quest we're going to be doing is the, uh, what's it called? Missing My Mummy quest, which is the last quest before we can do Curse of Arav. The Curse of Arav, we can do all of it. And we start it by talking to Ali the Wise in Narda. There we are, starting Curse of Arav, one of the big quests of RS2. There we go, Curse of Arav done. Got to 65 mining, any other 52 prayer? Summoning 42. 98 combat, I'll take that. Only two more combat levels to gain, which we'll get from prayer. We're starting the big boy, Desert Treasure. First very long quest we're doing. After maybe Underground Pass, but let's hope we can do this pretty quickly. Whew! Desert Treasure is done. That was one long quest. Second one that took me over an hour to complete. Uh, and we are going to pray at the altar to switch back to regulars, because we don't want those right now. And boom. Now the next quest we want is Temple at Sanastan. And we need to get our 125 kudos in order to do that. We're going to go... Actually, first before we do this, we need to get our Ring of Visibility and do the Curse of Zeros mini quest. So we're on the last of the ghosts that we have to go around and find. This is going to give us 10 kudos, which will allow us to get closer to being able to start the Temple at Seneston. See if we get any levels here. We got 70 thieving. Actually, no, Hunter, because Hunter will get me to 53, so now I can do Divine Box Traps. There's a way to get five kudos here. And now we have 10 more kudos, so we have to do that three more times, which will be fun. So we need three of Ancient Symbol, Old Symbol, Ancient Coin, and Old Coin. This is getting annoying. Well, there we have it, number three. That's the old coin. I have to show it to these guys. Uh, I think this is the last one. We just got a Ceridoman symbol, like, right after. There we go, 128 kudos. We do that. Now, on a completely separate topic, I have all these augments from all the quests I've done. And I'm going to spend all of my augments on full scores as those are the best, and I'm going to be equipping pull scores during reset div locations. Additionally, with the fact that we are 53 Hunter, we can now gather from Divine Box Traps, which means we don't have to solely rely on our own div locations. So this guy's throwing down a box. And we're only going to get the Chin next speeder up for now, so it's just going to be these. So we're trading over here all the supplies to get a chapel built. Go in building mode. And then to also get our incense sticks, so we're going to go build mode. Unlock Double Surge, that basically means we can surge twice. Now we're just going to go buy some, I guess, Frost Dragon Bones. There we have level 60 prayer, and combat level 99, which means when we hit 68 prayer, we will be getting our combat level 100. 
And we've used up our daily uh, XP for the Festivore, so this is going to be our last inventory before we move on to Temple at Seniston. Just started Temple at Seniston by talking to Ali the Wise. Uh, just do it, and we have to go to the Varrock Exam Center. And there we have it, Ancient Curses Unlocked. We got a com yeah, combat lamp. Uh, is it reclaimable? It is reclaimable, but it really doesn't seem worth it to use it on summoning. Um, I'm probably going to go into strength because it's the most relevant. Gained 40,000 strength. And now this is going into fishing. Because again, it's the one we're waiting the most on. Your hunter. Fishing. So we're up to 56 fishing. And if we pray here, be the ancient hymns. And now we can guess replaced by curses with prayers, and now we have access to this, but we need to go get minimum 71 prayer before any combat, ideally up to 95. So we're teleporting back to the Citadel, because it's the, another week has gone by. So we're going to attune it to the Citadel skill plot. So we get this 50% faster. 39 woodcutting. We only need to get to 60 from capping. And if we do a little bit of math here, so right now we're getting, we need 239K. We're getting 146 per XP drop right now. So even though that XP drop is going to keep going up and up, and again, it's going to go 15% next week, Let's just assume 150 per XP drop all the way to 60. That would be about 1,600 XP drops to get there. And each week of capping, each, year, each XP drop here is giving me 11 resources, so I get about 80 XP drops. So it would take about 20 weeks to get to level 60, assuming I get no BXP, nothing, like no other additions to the skill. Just from capping, it take 20 weeks, which is 140 days, leaving me with another, as I have about 400 day total, 280 day, 80 days to go unused, and used to 99 take about uh, 130 to 140 days. So I have a lot of time. So I'm not worried about uh, woodcutting. The actual woodcutting be, being slow gives me time to get fishing and hunter up. So we've finished our cap. As soon as you're done your cap, come back to the avatar. You attune to it, get the experience boost. Now we're up to the experience boost. Now we're up to 5%, and we can come here and get our bonus experience as well. And if we look at the skills, it almost has to be uh, fire making. Crafting, smithing, and cooking are really fast. Summoning's way really fast, and it's nerfed. Mining, I'm doing war bands. Uh, wood cutting, as we discussed earlier, I'm getting to 60 anyway in time. So fire making is the really only option. I'm going to go ahead and use my 30 keys I have from questing. You can see they're all earned or daily. And again, that's another thing I just, I pick, I'm picking these. Oh, so 1% summoning experience. For a couple, I'm just going to keep that. And that's going to do it for us today, or at the end of the episode. Uh, this um, photo here is a snapshot of where we stand. We're currently about 1,670 total, uh, with 26 million experience, and just over 54, 
hours played. So we're still at that sort of 400,000, 500,000 experience per hour. But once our questing is done, as we're 80 of about 89 quests, um, that number is going to start to spike up very quickly. So I'm still confident with our speed at this point. I think we've maybe burned like three or four hours um, in terms of lost time based on not doing things right or bad questing or the like. Uh, but overall, pretty fast for what stage of the game we're at. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And have a nice day.